Hi everybody, Joe Broncato, the Ergon Scientist here at the Skunk Works Lab in Huntington Beach. And today we're going to talk about SCBA slash air tanks. Um, specifically, the three sizes that are available today. We're going to be specifically talking about our American-made tanks. Uh, the biggest is the Great White or 550 cubic inch tank. The middle size tank, Tiger, uh, for 10 cubic inch. And then our smallest is our Guppy, a 114 cubic inch tank. And uh, right off the bat, we're going to talk about cubic inches versus cubic feet versus uh, sometimes you'll even hear 60 minute tanks or 45 minute tanks. What does all that mean? Let's just say, for instance, our Great White. It'll fill a Marauder 63 times from 2,000 up to 3,000. How do you calculate that? What numbers do you use? To compute that, you need to know one of two numbers, either cubic inches or cubic feet. And they're not related as much directly as you think. For instance, like the Great White, it's 550 cubic feet. But if you divide that by 12 by 12 by 12, which is a cubic foot, 550 divided by 12, 12, 12, does not equal 97 cubic feet. So where do we get this number, 97.4 to be exact? That is the amount of air that's squashed into the tank versus the 550 cubic inch, which is its true inside volume. We call it water air volume because that, that's incompressible. The air volume is compressible. So it's 550 cubic inches of volume in here, but 97.4 to be exact of air is squashed into the tank. And when you do that, it gets up to 4,500 PSI. There's also a third measurement that people often give is minutes. Well, actually these tanks originated from the uh, breathing apparatus for uh, firemen. If you've ever heard the term SCBA, most people know scuba means self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. Scuba is for underwater. SCBA or firemen, they don't go underwater. They're just walking around outside. So draw that you out. It's not self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. It's just self-contained breathing apparatus. So that's where SCBA comes from. So that is in reference to the minutes of air that a firefighter would typically have with a tank. 60 minutes with the Great White, 45 with a Tiger. So you can see there's a three to four ratio. If this is a 60 minute tank and this is a 45 minute tank, it's another third 15 minutes to get to the Great White. That means this gives a third more air for breathing or for, in our case, what we use tanks for only, we don't breathe with them, we only use them for shooting. So that's a third more air for shooting. Typically, the Guppy is just given in cubic inches. It's 114 cubic inches. It's about 20, 20.2 uh, cubic feet of air. And it's uh, 12 and a half minutes on a relative scale. 12 and a half, 45, 60. Another way to look at these is if you had a Marauder, which at one time was the most popular gun, this was 63 fills, which is almost equal to a minute, like 60 minutes, remember? Uh, 63 fills, this is 45 minutes, guess what? 47 fills, again, a third more. And then the Guppy, 12 and a half minutes, and it's like 13 fills-ish. Basically, you get a, a, a fill for Marauder per minute. Look at the link that we've posted for our calculator to get your gun, because some guns are 480 cc's, 580 cc's, and you start using a lot of air. So these fills that we're describing as 63, 47, and 13 for Marauder, mind you, that means they're top-offs from 2,000 back up to 3,000, which is the typical for Marauder. Now, if you've got one of our tanks, which are much larger, maybe say for a Daystate, Impact, uh, whichever gun uses a bottle, uh, not only do we have larger bottles, but we also have bottles that are higher pressure. Instead of 250 bar, they're a 300 bar. The calculator below will show you how many fills you'll get. But just this bottle alone, this is 330, and it's a uh, 300 bar bottle. So that's gonna take a lot more air to fill. Again, use the calculator below. So why do we choose to sell USA made tanks such as the Great White, Tiger, and Guppy? Well, for one thing, they're DOT certified and TC, which is Transport Canada for our friends up north. The second thing is our prices are comparable to the Chinese made tanks. We choose to make less profit and sell an American tank because we want to keep Americans employed. That's a huge thing for us. 
Another reason is we can guarantee the safety of our tanks. The chain of liability doesn't end with a retailer, with our tanks. Instead, it ends with a multi-billion dollar manufacturer that makes these tanks. If one of the Chinese tanks were to go bad, I have no recourse, neither do you. There's no, you're not gonna sue China. It's that simple. What are some of the features of our tanks that set ours apart? Well, for one thing, our TJ3 slow flow valve has been copied, but never equaled. For one, we use a true Weica gauge. These gauges are all made in North America. Thank you very much, American made. Glycerin filled with the bubble in there intentionally so that for expansion, that's a Weica gauge. A second gauge is optional, but everybody gets the options one, two A and three, which we're gonna describe. Option one is the second gauge. This is what allows you to uh, know what the tank has in it at all times. You don't have to put a deadhead on it or anything like that. You can just look at it. Slow flow, which is adjustable or tunable on our TJ3 is fitted before the gauges. Some people will put a restriction here and that works like a partial deadhead. Even if you just do this, it'll show a pressure even though there's no pressure in the line blowing out the air because it's restricted. Think about it. If I were to put a deadhead on here, it'd tell you the tank pressure. If I put a little pinhole in it, it's gonna let air out and the gauge is gonna go down some. Well, that's giving you a false reading when you put the, the restrictor here. The restrictor has to be below the gauge. People didn't figure that out. I'm telling you how to copy my valves the right way at least, okay folks? The gauge is in the proper spot. The slow flow is tunable. And then our hoses right here. While some people were putting out hoses that literally were made, uh, they were made for CO2 guns. And, and they, they were little short ones. They were made for 1800 PSI working pressure and 3000 burst. And this is, I mean, this is big companies. They mocked me for making a 40 inch hose because they said, well, when your hoses explode, they'll whip around. I said, well, you're making the wrong hoses because their hoses were this big, just enough to put a little flex in them. You need to have a nice 40 inch hose because you put this on the gun right here and it's so easy to use it. I mean, all you do is you just hook it up and especially with the, uh, the, the armor package that we can provide, which everybody gets, she stands up, you can see the gauge, you just plug it into your gun, it works great. So that's the way you wanna do it. The hose is rated well over 9,000 PSI, working pressure, and triple that in burst. We're talking close to 10,000 working pressure and 30,000 burst, which is literally 10 times what people were using years ago. We've never had a, a hose burst. They're flexible, they have safety strain reliefs. Our quick disconnects, stainless steel, USA made, just like our gauges are stainless steel. These are stainless steel. Foster brand quick disconnects. We've stuck with them even though their prices have skyrocketed, our cost, I should say, has skyrocketed over the last, they've tripled in the last two or three years. And when you're buying 20,000 at a time, it's painful. Why do we choose to go with these? They're USA made. We want to stay USA made. Again, we can make a lot more profit selling a Chinese knockoff. We choose not to. Another thing, it's an option, but 100% of the people go for it. It's option number three, is the full armor. Now the full armor uh, consists of four parts. A carry handle, makes it easy, obviously. Feet that go on the side of the tank here. And that's for when you put the tank down, it doesn't roll away off a desk or when you're transporting it in your car, it doesn't flop around. So you have the carry handle, the feet. The boot is really nice because as I said earlier, if you're uh, sitting on a bench or doing whatever you're doing, the tank can stand straight up and you can just connect the hose to it and easily see the gauge because this 40 inch hose is long enough to reach your gun. And then the tank protector. You got a big investment in these tanks, like seven, 800 bucks folks with all do dadded up. Protect it with the armor kit and you won't have any problems. Our valves, in addition to the standard 7814 for the American made tanks, we do make valves M18 for the European and other tanks, as well as 58 uh, valves, which is a guppy size or smaller, like small paintball tanks. So you can have a 58, a 78, or an M18. And again, we can put the larger gauge on the guppy. It's the same price. Looks kind of, somebody, uh, it reminds me of a, it's just too big, okay? If you want it on, I'll put it on, no charge. Just let us know before you do it, but the, the, this looks okay. Another option that we have, if you have a gun, here's a good example. Some guns just have these male quick disconnects that are 
man, you gotta get your fingers in there and it's, it's almost impossible to get the uh, female quick disconnect out once you put it in. And especially if you put maybe a, an extended rail or something. So we have this, we came up with this, fits right in there like that. And now you can see there's still enough that you can easily grab it and pull it off. Whereas if you just use the standard one, too hard. We offer also the complete valve for, a lot of guys have problems with this type of a valve where they have a thumb push, push thumb, something to that effect, I guess you call it. Uh, as the pressure increases, you have to push harder and harder. Uh, that, not so with ours, it's a screw that you turn, so it's not gonna get hard enough that you can't turn it. So that's one of the reasons a lot of people will uh, call us up and actually order one of our gauges. Yeah, we can upgrade the gauge on yours if you, if you really want to stick to that. Or if you um, want to go with one that has a true slow flow and a second gauge, ours have that. So I think that's about all the information I can think of right now that you might want to know about these tanks and valves. Uh, if you have any questions, put them below. I'll be happy to answer them. This is Joe Broncato, the Aragon Scientist, saying take care, God bless, safe shooting, and please like and subscribe to our videos.